speed presentation and then best paper. Uh, before we do that, I know you would have seen a huge variety of uh, different papers, amazing posters out there, and it was a hugely difficult task in choosing the best because there were so many fantastic papers and, and of course, posters. Before we do that, I'd like to call on Andrea Fuller. Um, Andrea and her team um, were integral in putting the list and um, judging if all the papers and posters. Um, if Andrea could please come to the stage, we've got a small gift of thanks, uh, Professor Andrea Fuller. Then last year, I don't know if uh, Rebotile Remucci is here? Rebotile? Don't tell me he's not here again. Because uh, last year he wasn't here for his poster, and we gave it to the runner up, and now we've got his award here. He was very upset. But again, he's not here. So <laughs> this, is not, this is not going well. <laughs> Great, so best poster. Um, we've got the two runners-up and the winner. Um, if the runners-up can just stand, unfortunately, there's only one trophy for the winner. Uh, third runner-up was Kirsty Carl with Long Toes Frogs. Well done. There she is. Second runner-up, Johan de Beer with uh, Dung Beetle Gut Bacteria. Thank you, sir. And the winner, Marjorie Tunu. Well done, Marjorie. How the honeybees of reunion and how the landscape and climate shape them. Is Marjorie here? Ah, there she comes. Well done, Marjorie. Great. Then the Weaver Award for Best Speed Presentation. Um, again, a, a second and third runner-up. Um, and there's a cash award to this. Uh, the, the second runner-up will get 1,500 rand. Um, and then the winner, 2,000 rand. And that's from Weaver. Um, there's a joint winning. So each one gets 1,500 rand. Carabo Malloy. Well done, Krabo, with seed dispersal and germination of Cotonosta. And Sian Wallaby. Well done, Sian. Sustain it. And then the winner of the best Weber Speed presentation is Sian, no, sorry, is Aidan Bossett. Aidan, well done, Aidan. Uh, Stentry carbon stock variability. Great. Then best presentation, which of course is the top award. Third place, and boy, I, I've been battling to pronounce this name, Nia Monenga Henda Hamunyela. 
um, soil seed bank dynamics. You can send well done. And then the second place is Bob Madanyenya. The elephants have gone a rizzo. And then the winner of best paper, investigating potential indicators of rangeland degradation, Faith Chambara. Well done, Faith. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that sort of brings us to the end of this Oppenheimer Research Conference. Uh, I'm biased, of course, and come with very rose-tinted spectacles. But every year, I seem to say, this is the best conference we've ever had. And I'm happy to say it again this year. <laughs> I hope all of you who have been here have been challenged, have become thoughtful and will leave, as Brian Huntley said, looking for that unexpected opportunity, which, as he quite rightly says, will be there. You've just got to see it. And you've got to attend. Having seen it, you've got to grab it and run with it. So please do that. And then the last thing I'd like to do is I think we have to pay a special tribute to Duncan McFadden. Without him, this conference wouldn't happen. And then to say that the conference has formally come to a close, but I'm pleased to say there is one more uh, event, and that is lunch, which I hope is waiting for us outside. Please enjoy. Okay, everyone's going. Just a few last words of closure. I just wanted to say, you know, as we come to the end of, I think, another really fantastic, entertaining, and fun Oppenheimer conference, I think our focus continues, is, and that is science for impact. Science that matters, and science that's actually going to change and move the dial. So we really are focused on that. And over a decade of having these conferences, it's been a great privilege to see it grow to the, to the actually substantial, overwhelmingly brilliant conference that it is today. I think the opportunity to engage with government, decision makers, and each other is absolutely fantastic. Day one, I mean, we had a wonderful welcome address by Jane Goodall, who uh, wished us well over the next three days, but also three, said that time is of the essence, and time is a luxury we don't have. We were hugely privileged to have Carl Jones here, someone who has saved more species from extinction than anybody else, and somebody that has looked at extinct species and replacing them with current species, so ecological replacements and seeing how they work. The diversity of topics and discussions have been outstanding, and I think the fact that we've, we've worked so hard to move the dial Climate change obviously becoming a big one, um, planting trees in grasslands that should not happen is another big one that came out. I think we've all been captivated by, I think, Jonathan's panel on philanthropy. I think it gave us new insights into what real philanthropy is. And it's not just about the money, which is an important take home. Again, and I don't know if Kim Wallet is here, we were we were really enthralled by his wonderful movie. You know, they call him the barefoot activist, and you'll see why. He never wore shoes during the whole conference. And his, his movie, Natural World Cheetahs Growing Up Fast, was absolutely brilliant. 
Again, day two, we were blessed with Doris Muta, a forest expert, looking at harnessing the value of Africa's ecological assets in sustainable development. And this followed by a range of other talks, including uh, the speed presentations, you know, mosquitoes and artificial lights, ectoparasites and small mammals, and a satellite monitoring in rangeland health. Again, I must acknowledge the posters. You know, all 127 of them. I think they were outstanding, and I think they encapsulate what this conference is all about. They're hugely diverse, and I think sometimes people underestimate the amount of time and effort that goes into putting those posters together. So a hand of applause for all the posters. The rest of the, of the day was hugely varied, and we had everything from um, leopard in Zimbabwe, speciality of birds, specialist birds in the mist, uh, mist belts of KwaZulu Natal, and um, a series of other great, great talks. The second panel, brilliant, chaired by Sabisa, giving youth a voice. You know, what do youth see as important going forward? Then the exciting. Uh, award by Jonathan of the JWO winner. Well done to Lova Marine. I think brilliant choice. I think we can all pat ourselves on the back there. Bioindicators of biodiversity, air quality, and climate change, leveraging non-charismatic groups, lichen, bryophytes in the Afro-Malgasy region. Day three, and I won't go into too much detail, but started with a brilliant a uh, talk by uh, Professor Craig Packer, world-renowned leading expert on lion, um, and looking at man-eating lions in Africa, tigers and leopard elsewhere in, in the world. Brilliant talk. Again, we heard a fantastic talk by Odi, you know, looking at uh, financing biodiversity conservation, and the shocking figure that 800 billion rand is needed uh, for environmental conservation. We saw progress and snapshots um, from the two J previous JWO winners, Gideon and Elisa, uh, which microplastics and cattle corridors, and of course the um, inaugural winner, Haley Clements, on the first on the first day. So we finished this afternoon with Brian Huntley, another legend in the world, in looking at the 12 fundamentals of conservation success. I think to all the presenters, oral and posters, you've once again lifted the bar. And as Nikki said, I think these conferences just get better and better, which creates a huge worry as to what do we do next year. So great concern. The science community, as you know, is very important. And events like this bring people together, and they give Africa a voice, which is so important. Of course, a conference like this doesn't just happen, as you can imagine. And but there are a lot of planning goes into this, and actually we started um, uh, this in February, the planning. And firstly, I would just like to thank again Nikki Strilly and Jonathan Oppenheimer for their foresight and their support to science and allowing us to have these conferences and create the opportunity for the sharing. You know, a number of people have said, you know, how do we organize a conference like this, you know, without a, a conference company, which a lot of people get, you know, to organize it for you. And the fact of the matter is, it's one of those events where the whole Oppenheimer community comes together. That means philanthropies, custodian, Shangani, Swalu, and Nikki Oppenheimer team, and of course, Oppenheimer Generations Research and Conservation. So it, it really is a group team effort, which is a great privilege working with these fantastic people. Again, I'd like to thank Ricky Hollis um, for his fine work with keeping the IT and everything going. We really appreciate that. Ashley Finn Munda for all her work in developing the app, which I think has worked very well this year. Uh, well, well done, Ash. Pumla Dlamini for organizing the bags, the pens, the editing the program, and so on. Duncan Butcher for arranging, obviously checking security, but also arranging an epic cocktail function last night. 
I will. I must say it's the first time in my history that the cocktail function has been closed by the police. <laughs> <laughs> then to the academic committee, the five of us, myself, Rindoyin Nguda, Peter Makumbi, Ashley Finmunda, and Dylan Smith, we had a hugely difficult task of putting this program together, not because we didn't have good submissions, we had too many good submissions. So of the hundreds of abstracts that we could only fit into 37 presentations, it really was a nightmare, but I think we did a great job. I think there was a fantastic program, a diverse program, which I think is, is very, very exciting. Uh, to our communication partners, Orchard and 25 and Jive Media, thank you for keeping us honest and making sure that the social media, a lot is going out, organizing press, and uh, that's worked very, very well. To Vicky Clark, Phil, and Teeks, again, you've pulled off a fantastic conference in terms of events planning. Besides the aircon on the last day, everything is run, run exceptionally smoothly. So well done to you. And You know, it's hard to believe that all this is norm a patch of brass. So it is outstanding. And then finally, to Rindani. Rindani Nenguda, my partner in crime. I don't know what I would do without you. I think your fair, meticulous approach to everything you do has been an inspiration. And this conference would not be what it is without Rindani. So hats off to her. Finally, thank you to all the delegates, presenters, chairs, facilitators, panelists for coming on this journey with us. I think together we make this special. And it's been a great privilege to be here and a great privilege to learn fr from you all. Please take note of next year's conference dates, which is the 9th to the 11th of October. So 9th to 11th October, hopefully here, Please do share on social media all the handles around here, and we look forward to seeing you next year. I'd just like to end with uh, uh, something Guy Midgley said to me and today. And I must admit, you know, it's some happy moments in the conference, some doom and gloom. But what he did say from a nature perspective, when we were all extinct, nature will bounce back. So that's a positive outlook. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well done. Well done.